Greetings, everyone. Father Jim here. Hope you're doing well on this Sunday. It is the seventh day of January, and today we celebrate the, the last of the great feast days of the Christmas season, that of the Epiphany of our Lord. So I'm going to first read from our first reading from our liturgy, but first let me start out with prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Behold the Lord, the Mighty One has come. Kingship is in his grasp power and dominion. And so our first reading comes from the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, beginning with verse 1. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem, your light has come, the glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephrathah. All from Sheba shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And of course, our gospel comes from St. Matthew, chapter 2, beginning with the first verse. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived at Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn, the king of the Jews? We saw a star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was deeply troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. Behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star and on entering the house. They saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So obviously today we celebrate the epiphany of the Lord, the revelation, that's what the word epiphany means, the revealing of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to the whole world. Isaiah had prophesied that nations would walk by God's light, gathering under his radiance. He spoke of caravans from Midian and Ephah and Sheba coming to praise God bringing gold and frankincense. We are the new Jerusalem of which Isaiah speaks. Our light has come, and the glory of the Lord shines upon us, manifested in the infant Jesus. There's great joy in these words. Our Redeemer has come. The long-awaited Messiah is revealed to us, bringing salvation and peace. But there's also a challenge in Isaiah's words and in the revelation of Jesus Christ. If nations shall walk by your light, as Isaiah says, that means we must be lit up. We must be strikingly different from the darkness that covers the earth. Our very lives should offer a contrast to the norms of our culture. As members of the church, we're called to bear light in the darkness of all the earth, to bring light to the widow across the street who is lonely, to bring light to our child's teacher who is bearing the weight of personal struggles on 
on top of the work of education to bring light to our brother who is struggling in his marriage. Whatever the darkness around us, we are called to rise up in splendor. But how can we answer such a call when we might be struggling with the darkness of our own? Well, the Lord tells us, your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. Jesus Christ has come to earth to dwell with us. The light of the world was born in Bethlehem and has united himself with our humanity. Upon you, the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. We do not have to produce this light. We must receive Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus has come to give all the love we need and all the wisdom called for and all the virtue necessary to be the light to others. All of that we can call grace, God's grace. Jesus, our light, is speaking to us. He's always giving us to himself to us. Every, each time we come to the liturgy in the church, the Eucharist, we are like the moon, simply called to reflect the light that is poured out on us so lavishly. So my friends, let's offer the King of Light our treasures today, continuing to prepare our hearts to receive all gifts that he pours out on us in his love and in his great mercy. And so we pray on this beautiful day of Epiphany. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Hope your Sunday's going well as we end this first week and begin a new one together in this new year. Tomorrow we'll be celebrating the feast of the baptism of our Lord, and then that ends the Christmas season. Then we'll be back into ordinary or counted time again. Have a great day. Let's keep praying. See you soon again. God bless you.